we were the first company to commercially produce milk and sell milk as a consumer space. So, you know, we are the pioneers in commoditizing milk. So it started from, you know, producing milk, selling milk and, you know, making it as a commodity. I think, you know, uh, it's very important that, you know, uh, we have been involved in, uh, you know, innovation as a key parameter for us. And in mid 80s, we started with the uh, energy based systems, but, you know, computers were very expensive, so we used to build computers ourselves. Wait, 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 wait. What's, what's interesting here, you had a vision where he was, he was getting out of here. He was going to go to America. Yeah. You were going to make it big. Yeah. <laughs> now, I hope you don't mind sharing this story, but sure. I understood that we're paying pretty big in the US, right? Yeah. Actually, you know, it's, uh, when I finished my engineering, I did my electronics and communication in 84. And my all friends went to US. And, uh, you know, they were drawing about $2,500, $5,000. And, you know, I thought it's very great and I should go to US. Then one fine day I went to my dad and told him that, you know, my friends are getting $2,500, $5,000. And he told me that I'll give you $10,000. Be with us. <laughs> <laughs> and he deceived me. <laughs> so, but I don't feel he deceived me because he wants me to be there as a technology uh, where he wants to experiment with the thing. And he was not from a technology background. He was not from the technology background. So this he, is the tipping point in this family. So yeah. granddad? God rest his soul, he's not with us anymore. Yeah, yeah. Uh, your father is still alive. Yeah, he's still He still, still alive. sits at the board meetings. Yeah, and still grieves us. <laughs> in the finance. You get the same grief that I get from my boss, which is <laughs> quota, quota, quota. Yeah, so he always tells me that, why do you want to spend on this white elephant? Uh, you uh, want virtualization, you want technology, and you know, is there, you know, really going to benefit us? So I said that, you know, this is a white elephant, we want to not walk but we want to make him dance. So that's the you know, answer to him. So basically the whole idea is that you know, making technology available to uh, farmers, making changes to farmers that was the main dream. And because our industry is 24 by 7, 365 days, cars will give you milk every day, we need to process it every day, we need to feed consumers every day. In fact, you know, uh, we have a system called vehicle tracking systems, VTS, which runs in fact on the VMware Cloud. Mm -hmm. And we do about, every day, we do about 20,000 kilometers a day. Really? Yeah, to get the milk to consumers. Wow. And all that is powered by the cloud. Wow. So that's the power of, you know, compute. So we want to really put, use technology in a such a way that, you know, it really benefits society, benefits us in terms of efficiency. So you talked about the adoption of technology and the impact that it would have because cows will continue to produce milk. What's different is the fact that you've got RFID tags on these cows, the fact that you are now reporting on the health of the cow, the amount of walking the cow does. You can now get to a point where you're predicting the milk output of the cow. In fact, you know, what we have done is in mid-96 was to have First farm, computerized farm, which was fed by computers, bred by computers, and milked by computers. So all aspect of you know feeding, breeding, and management were done by computers. So we started with that, and what really transpired us to you know what compute we had, can we give it back to our farmers? So the whole story of uh, cows to cloud born out of that. Cows to cloud. So what's really you know, <laughs> it's not only you know dockers in the cloud and. As we're in the cloud, so right. we want to make you know cows in the cloud, and that really helps to our farmers. <laughs> okay. so the is that, you, know, you talked about cows and cows data and cow points and life cycle management of the cow. We want to do it in a such a way that you know, that compute is available to our farmers. So what we devised was to have it cloud which will sit inside, which will give information about day-to-day -day life cycle of the cow, inform them by SMS what their health is and they can call to our call centers. And I think what really important for us is to deliver, uh, you know, the technological uh, development to back to our society. So that was the main, in, you know, intention of us to do that. So let's, I, wanna, I do not want to miss this point because I took this for granted. This is something that 
And I, I have to say, I did a presentation to the India team from VMware. I was here about a month ago. And this country is incredible. The change that you're going through, the leaders that you have, yeah, you should be incredibly proud. You know, I live in Singapore now. And you all know Singapore is a country that's gone through an enormous transformation. This country, we are going to read books about India and what you are doing to revolutionize an economy. Uh, I should be incredibly, incredibly proud. Now, one of the things that I didn't realize until you and I sat down and spoke was, and your partner, um, we, we spoke about it as well, the fact that not only are we creating an economic story which is incredibly profound, we're also taking farmers who have cows that are producing a certain amount of milk and making that more efficient. Therefore, we're bringing more money to those farmers. Therefore, we're giving them the ability to create better homing, better education, better lifestyles for their families. On top of that, because of what that cow is creating, it then completely revolutionized what happens down the food chain for the people that we're providing it to. And that's mind-blowing. So I'd like to give you a round of applause for the fact that you're going to send What's very important that, you know, the day before yesterday there was a new and which tells us that, you know, if you put rice, wheat, paddy all together and melt together. Milk production is, you know, giving more benefit to farmers than the, uh, you know, stable food. So it's very important sector for us in India. And in terms of productivity enhancement, you will not believe all that cows to cloud story is to improve the productivity of the animal, reduces the carbon footprint of uh, you know, animals because they produce a lot of methane and to mitigate the methane production, you have to reduce the number of cows. How we can do it? So if you have a uh, typical US cow will give you 12,000 liters in the lactation and Indian typical cow gives you about 2,000 max. So with this technology, you know, what we have done is, you know, we have created kind of matrimonial site for uh, cows in the clouds. <laughs> so, so what we really do is there, you know, we can have, uh, we started uh, our own stuff. So we produce the best genetics because, you know, genetics is something like, you know, uh, you know, if you have that genetics, uh, you know, you will get the milk. So if you have a better genetics, you will get more milk. So what we are trying to do here is, you know, by selecting uh, genetics of the cow and of the offspring. So we can pre-decide, we have a mating program which will you know, decide which genetics you should give it to the cow so it will produce more milk in the offspring. So all that is happening through the cloud platform. So I think... So, <laughs> so as I learn about India culture, right, and, uh, on a very serious note, my understanding, and I, I hope I say this correctly, but the cow is obviously, you know, uh, a revered animal that's uh, very much a part of your culture. And in fact, I've learned that the cow in a family is very much respected the same way that a mother is. Yes. Because of the way it produces, the, the love and affection and warmth that it has. So in essence, another aspect to this, when you're talking about what you're doing genetically, you're actually enhancing the fact that we can have more, not just more productive cows, who would be smarter about the production of cows as they are born. Yeah. And you talked about males versus females. Did you want to touch on that? Yeah, sure. You know, but, uh, basically this industry is what we call ATM, automatic tether machine. Because you feed fodder to a cow today, and next day you get milk. So it's a very nascent money what farmer pays. So it's very important, paramount importance for us to have you know, good breeding of the cows. So they, have, they will have better progeny. They will produce more, they will reduce the carbon footprint, increase income to the farmers. But at the same time, you know, we, with the social issue that, you know, we cannot kill the calf. So we are putting up a new revolutionized technology which will produce only female calves. <laughs> and uh, I am very, very much pleased to announce that, you know, last month we announced concurrently with US that uh, we are able to produce semen which will only produce 90% female. So that's technology. Well, I before of US. I think we won there because of the time. <laughs> so they are behind for us. So, so you beat the US. We beat the US. All right, fantastic. <laughs> so the last point which I'd like to just cover off, which is a really important one for any business, 
But as I think about the intellectual property, and you've been very, very open with us around the world of your initiatives, so thank you for that. Yeah. Uh, but when it comes to securing your data, your IP, you've got farmers that have a lot of content, I'm sure, sure they're supplying and, and providing you. You also have providers at the other end of the sales cycle, or the, or the production cycle, where you've got, uh, you touched on it, when we talked about production factories, we've got drivers, we've got all these different parts of the industry that are impacted. How do you secure the environment? Actually, you know, we, we started with uh, GSX days. We moved to ESX days and now we, we moved to NSX days. Nice. So, what we have really done... <laughs> so, once you have a complete environment, you know, you put locks on the outside doors, which are very big, but, you know, you are hollow inside. So, what we decided was that to have information which is available to people, which is available to our consumers, that we should protect well. So we put NSX as a internal locks on every state. So in fact, you know, one of the, you know, I think Kokil is here, you know, I asked him that, you know, can we have a firewall per virtual machine with the NSX? And the answer was yes. Of course. So <laughs> that's inspired us to use, you know, technology in a such a way that, you know, it really helps to scale, to grow. It's very important that, you know, Having technology for the sake of peer pressure is not good. Yeah. It's very important, which delivers something to the society back is very important from our perspective. Amazing. Amazing. Round of applause, please. Thank you. Uh, one question, though. You talked a lot about methane control before, right? Yeah. So I have a five-year-old son that has a methane problem. Should I use an RFID tag for him? <laughs> <laughs> so actually, the whole idea is that, you know, in terms of uh, feeding management, we give them practices, we give them, we analyze their blood, we analyze their health performance, and all that data comes into our cloud. And with, I think probably we are trying to have some kind of BI technique, business intelligence technique, or data mining to tell the farmers that you know these are the best ways or best farmers' practices which can be happening. So we are trying to evolve, and you know, it's a journey, so it's not, it is a journey. It's not, you know, one day job. Look, I, and maybe you could talk a little bit about before I ask you to, to uh, head off the stage. Um, we're, as I said earlier on, building strategic relationships with our customers. We've come a long, long way as an organization. We're excited about what we're doing with Dell. We know you've got a, a, a great relationship with Cumulus, with the work you're doing with them, with their open source switches. Um, the Dell family is enormous. It extends a lot beyond what we just do with VMware. Uh, with that, I implore you to look at us as a trusted advisor, as an organization that can be a big part of what you're doing strategically in your business. I hope you see by the two customers that we're both very proud of with our relationship, but also what they've done with our technology, that that's exactly what we're trying to showcase to you. Not what they've done with our technology, that's the byproduct of them trusting us in taking steps that they probably wouldn't done in a third generation and soon to be a fourth generation in your organization. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about our relationship together as a vendor and a, and a, and a customer? I think, you know, it all started uh, with uh, tinkering because, you know, we were not able to really scale well with the server farms we have. And it's very expensive to have, you know, server farms which will really scale. Then we decided that what kind of technology could be useful. So we choose VMware because that was the technology available at that point of time. But main focus here was not of, you know, uh, you know, kitna uh, hai, how much yield you have per server or per plate. Here it was more of a uh, 365 days proposition because you have to be really uh, secure. You have to be dependable because every next, every next day the machine has to be up. Machine has to deliver the product to our consumers. So it's very important to have next day see for 365 days. And I think one of the reasons was to choose VMware and rely on VMware was to uh, because of the reliability. And I'm very happy to tell you that you know so far we have not lost any virtual machine. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much. You. Uh, a massive round of applause. This is. So it's now my pleasure.